ultimate team coin needs check out utcoinsforyou.com there will be a link in the description and if you use the code CHEZ you can get yourself a 5% discount Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again with another episode of the Chelsea Career Mode and Xbox One. We're winding down the January transfer window. We've had an offer accepted for Kurt Zuma. £2 million plus Gary Cahill was the offer we put in. Of course, if you remember, Gary Cahill was asked to leave the club because he's not getting much first team football. So we're looking to bring in a replacement. Also, we've moved on Lukaku and we've had the contract offer accepted by Loic Remy coming in for £6 million from QPR. So we're starting this, uh, this episode with a couple of big, big news items. And uh, another big news item is the fact that we could be losing Cesar Azpilicueta. Of course, Danilo has pushed himself into that first team starting role. And actually, I did a comparison between Azpilicueta and uh, Thomas Callas, the young Czech right back. And he's been progressing nicely. Had a year out on loan first season. And uh, even just through training and the very, very rare occasional appearance in the first team, he's actually uh, progressed quite nicely. And that is kind of rivaling Azpi in, uh, in that you know kind of rotation right back role. And actually, defensively wise, is, is a lot more solid, uh, you know, more strength, better in the tackle. It's only his pace and his first touch that isn't quite as good. And that will come with time. So uh, I'm going to move Cesar on. It's eight and a half million pounds is a decent offer if I can get that counter in. So that can definitely be used in other areas of the team. But we're coming into the first game of the episode here at home against Aston Villa, a team that we uh, we drew against last time out, as far as I can remember. But uh, we do need to pick up a win if we possibly can because we really need to extend that lead at the top of the table. As you can see, three points from us. We're on 50, they're on 47. It's still very, very close at the top. There's still a few teams sat just behind them as well that are right on our tails. So we need to make sure that we can maintain a gap. But we go off to an awful start. That is a truly spectacular finish from Darren Bent. Just enough on it to get it around the defender, in between goalkeeper and post, and in off the woodwork to, uh, to put them 1-0 up after just five minutes. But we then came back, trying to get ourselves back into the game. A nice flowing move ends with Ramirez having a nice left footed shot. Unfortunately, Brad Guzan is in between man and goal. So uh, we stay at 1-0, but Brad Guzan is a very, very good goalkeeper. If you uh, if you remember the, uh, the pack playoff series that we did not too long ago, uh, I actually had him as my goalkeeper, and he was phenomenal for me. Kept me in so many games. And uh, he was keeping Aston Villa in this game as well. Marco Royce is going to have another free kick. Fantastic effort off the post. Unfortunate this time, Marco Royce so, so nearly brings us back level 1-1. He really is fantastic from, uh, from a free kick. But Eden Hazard gets set away here. Another fantastic move. This time the goalkeeper does make a save, but it still comes back off the post. We just cannot get ourselves back on level terms. Hazard's twisting and turning, trying to find another repper. Into like Remy on his day and the head of Flash is wider that near post. Remy is good in the air and he's going to be a fantastic asset for a short term asset for the, uh, the next six months or so because of course uh, Fernando Torres is trailing off stat wise. Luis Muriel is the out and out first team striker now and Loic Remy hopefully will definitely be able to do a cheap job for us for that six million coins. He had another effort there that was well blocked by the defender so you can see Aston Villa are putting everything on the line to try and keep themselves in this game. They need the win just as bad as we do. They started the season very very strongly indeed and have actually fallen away in the past few weeks but uh, this is clearly the sort of performance that they were putting in week in week out to get themselves up near the top of the table they actually sat first for a brief period but so we're going to pick up a corner here Hazard's going to look for the man on the edge of the box which uh, is actually Ramirez it meets it beautifully but uh, again it's another defensive block they're throwing bodies in the way and we cannot find a way through but Marco Royce is involved yet again he did all sorts in this game really making a nuisance of himself and this first time ball from De Chilio is absolutely delicious the defender gets caught underneath it and Andre Scheller attacks it properly just like a striker should do we're back on level terms at 1-1. That is a fantastic header. Just the ball from De Cilios is absolutely pinpoint. It's whipped at pace. The defence can't cope with it. And Scherler was able to read it quick enough. Lovely uh, replay there. Getting up above the uh, the goalkeeper. Unfortunately, De Cilios backside got in the way of uh, the best of that replay. But uh, you could see him rising up in the background to power the ball into the back of the net. Royce again involved. Another good effort. Fantastic first touch. Remy throws himself at it. But cannot get on the end. So I made a change. Royce was knackered considering the amount of running he'd been doing. So uh, I brought Oscar on. Oscar fortunately is no longer homesick for us. We've had some great news with him. He's 
decided that he is settled at the club. He wants to stay, and I am going to try and bring him into the first team. Uh, you know, the first team picture a little bit more often if I can, because I want him to maintain the, uh, the you know the level of morale that he currently has. He's happy to stay at the club. We want him to stay at the club. He's our highest rated player right now at 87, and uh, our highest rate uh, valued player as well at like 32 million. But as you can see, Cesar Azpilicueta has gone to Roma for eight and a half million pounds, 6.5 million of which will go into the kitty for our next transfer now I'm looking to replace Ashley Cole I was looking through my squad on the team management screen and we are strong in every single area we've got Danilo is a very very strong right back centre backs we've got so many players obviously we've had Gary Cahill go out Kurt Zuma coming in uh, midfielders we've got a lot of options as well unfortunately of course Kevin De Bruyne and, uh, and Arturo Vido are out long term but we've brought in Leroy Fur to fill that gap like Remy is coming up tops we've still got three strikers we've got a lot of wide options the thing that I, uh, I'm wanting to replace next, or the player I'm looking to replace next, is actually Ashley Cole. He's 34. Now, De Chilio has been starting to fill in for me in the first team because Ashley's ratings have just dropped tremendously, and it's a real disappointment to see such a good player kind of drop off so dramatically in such a short space of time. So I'm looking to replace Ashley Cole. He is the next big transfer I'm looking for, uh, a marquee signing at left-back. Now, obviously, David Alaba would be the, the obvious choice, but that's kind of a little bit unrealistic. So I'm looking at Fabio Cointrell, because uh, he is a, a realistic signing, been linked with a lot of teams, as uh, he doesn't really get that much first-team action at Real Madrid. Of course, Marcelo is their starting left-back. And I asked on Twitter a few days ago, actually, when I was recording this, uh, for some suggestions from you guys, and there were loads of suggestions. So if you don't follow me on Twitter, at Chesnoy Gaming, there is a link in the description to do so, if you would like to, uh, to follow me, because you can have a real-time impact on what happens in this series and the uh, the other player I'm looking at is Felipe Luis now he is 29 but we're only going to be doing another 18 months at Chelsea max we may finish at the end of this second season I as of yet haven't decided it it kind of depends on what we win or don't win in this second season but we've had a turn of events here Fernando Torres has gone down I was hoping it was just a sprain or something out for a couple of weeks. It's not. He's got a broken ankle. Now, if you remember, Diego Costa in the first season had uh, a similar injury at a similar time of the season and was out for three months. Torres is also going to be out for three months. Now, fortunately, this time, we're in a transfer window, but I'm torn. Do I bring in a striker that isn't necessarily a, a giant first team name because we've only got about 20 25 million pounds to spend we're not going to be able to bring in someone of the likes of Sergio Aguero or Mario Balotelli or Edinson Cavani for all the sort of money that we have at present so do I look to buy another Loic Remy type player another 5 6 million pound player that is just going to fill the uh, fill the space whilst Torres is out injured and then maybe move on in the summer or maybe Torres move on in the summer considering how uh, you know how his stats is starting to decline or do we just soldier on with Luis Muriel Loic Remy and pl plunge all of that uh, transfer money that we have left at our disposal into a left back but what a strike from Quadro Asamoah going back to the gameplay we've been struggling against Coventry they were putting a very very disciplined and strong defensive display and it took a moment of sheer class for us to make the breakthrough and you cannot get a better strike from that than Quadro Asamoah his left foot is an absolute wand and Oscar was doing the business here actually he was in, uh, involved in a lot of the moves going forward both ways and is actually going to put the game out of reach for Coventry a lovely finish it was initially meant for uh, for Lars Bender breaking free from further deep but Oscar makes a lovely run inside the defender and uh, Lewis Muriel finds him tremendously Chelsea fans go wild because they know we know that is now us progressing through to the next round of the FA Cup this is the fourth round of course we beat Manchester United in yesterday's episode to push through into this round this is the fourth round of the FA Cup we're now into the fifth so who are we going to get I don't know I'm not too sure what sort of teams are left in the competition we may get another lower league opposition that would be very very nice indeed would mean I could play the, the likes of Nathan Ake and Thomas Callas and Kurt Zuma try and get them some first team experience but let me know in the comments section down below what do you think I'm going to do on transfer deadline day we are on deadline day now so you'll have to wait until tomorrow's episode to find out what happens next with regards whether we bring in a striker whether we go all out for a left back or we just try and get both. I'm not too sure how it's going to go down. As I record this commentary, I haven't yet done transfer deadline day. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. But if you missed the previous episode, there will be an annotation on screen over that little snippet of gameplay to take you to that video. That was from Tuesday. Uh, if you aren't subscribed to the channel already and you would like to do so, that would be absolutely superb. There's a link in the description and an annotation on screen over that little subscribe button there if you'd like to do that. There's plenty of career mode going on here. And if you, uh, if you want to drop the video a like, if you enjoyed it, that would be absolutely superb as well. But thank you very much for watching, guys and I will see you next time.